You guys have been asking for this for a while, so I'm bringing it back. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 310, Budget Edition. As a friendly reminder, the setups featured in this episode are roughly around $2,000 USD or less. So with that said, sit back and relax. Uh, the Setup Wars begin. Kicking off the episode is Ben and his very cozy gaming setup that he built in his bedroom. It took him six months to build and it only cost Ben $1,948. We have a console and entertainment setup on the right and his main PC setup on the left. The lighting looks great by the way. I love how you separated both the setups with its own decoration and lighting. We got the 3DR panels for the PC setup and the hexagon panels for the console setup. He actually added some spacers behind the hexagon panels and added an RGB strip to give it some depth. In fact, I'm doing something similar for our setup makeover season eight and I'll show you guys how to do it the easy way. Since he's stuck with neutral colors, he's able to change it up whenever he gets bored of a certain color scheme. So these 3D art panels that we always see on these setups can only be done right two ways, really. Number one, if you cover up the entire wall or number two, you treat it as a headboard. Basically, if you align it perfectly with the width of your desk, it comes out looking really nice, which is what you did here. Speaking of the desk, Ben was lucky enough to pick it up for only $100 from Amazon. That's a pretty good deal considering it normally goes for $160. He's rocking a single 24-inch monitor which he uses for gaming and photo editing. However, he does use the 44-inch Samsung TV as well since it's hooked up to the PC. G-Skill KM360 is what he's using for the keyboard and a Logitech G305 for the mouse with a set of Logitech speakers for the primary audio source. But when he's gaming, he switches over to the Astro A10s. Powering the entire setup is a budget build featuring the Ryzen 5 3600 and a GTX 1660 Super. Overall, I would say this was a very balanced budget setup. There wasn't too much of a focus on a particular area. There's both function and form. Thank you for entering. When I first saw the submission come through, I immediately thought of Kobe's One Piece setup back in episode 198, who also took home the seal of approval. I'm sure you guys can see the resemblance here. Then I read the notes confirming that he did take inspiration from Kobe. This is basically a budget version of that setup. We got the One Piece wanted posters, wall shelves with a few collectibles down to the wooden desk. But the one big difference here is that he went with a floating desk instead to maximize the space in his bedroom. This is the cheapest setup in this episode considering it's only a console setup, but it's got a really nice foundation to build upon. He's already got a nice 144Hz 1440p monitor with decent peripherals. You just need to find a good place for the PC. I think adding one more floating shelf on the right side of your desk to expand the surface would be perfect for your PC if you do end up upgrading, of course. The cables could use a little more work instead of just leaving them tangled like that. You could always pick up a cable box and attach it underneath the desk with some Velcro, just like what Joe did from episode 308. When a setup is so minimalistic, it's very easy to notice the inconsistencies. You know, I would have made an effort to make sure the wall shelves were symmetrical with each other, as well as the spacing between the posters on the wall. But this is still a very nice console gaming setup. I'm very interested to see what you'll do to this in the next few years. So if you do end up upgrading, please come back on the show. This next setup costs about 97,000 Philippine pesos, which equates to around 1,740 US dollars. It took Kaden about 11 months to complete the setup for gaming, watching anime, and the occasional fab sessions. Everything is done on the single 25 inch MSI monitor that's hooked up to the custom built desk, which only cost him $40 to make, which also has some pretty cool features. First off, it's a semi floating desk design that's being supported by a custom cabinet that he built on the left side where all the cables are stored. And then on the other side, we got a few brackets holding up the desk against the wall. He also made a cutout in the middle where he stores all of his charging cables with Velcro for easy access. But when he's not using it, he just closes the lid to hide the cables inside. That's a really cool mod. He did a really good job keeping everything on the desk nicely organized. He stuck to wireless peripherals to minimize cable clutter and mounted both speakers on the wall with clean cable routing down the corner with raceways. It was a really good choice putting the speakers on the wall like that. You took advantage of the space and you made extra room on the desk for your gear and collectibles. When he's gaming, he swaps over to the HS70 Pro headset and a dedicated mic for comms. 
Now, part of the entire setup is a custom budget AMD build featuring the Ryzen 3 3300X and an RX 6600 XT. It's nice to finally see an all AMD build on the show. It's been a minute. Looking at the pictures of the original setup, it's very inspiring to see how far you've come in the past several years. And I'm really happy that Setup Warriors was a huge part of it. Thank you for sharing this with us. Here's another really cool budget setup that made excellent use of the tiny space in his bedroom. Deepak is a lot student from India who also likes to game and watch anime on his spare time. So he wanted to build himself a setup where he can do all of that. But the problem is that he only had a small area in the corner of his bedroom to work off of. So he built a custom desk and mounted his PC on the top using a wall shelf. He then used a massive wall raceway to channel all the cables from the PC and the monitor straight down and into the back of his desk. He even added a little side table that collapses when he's not using it. Pretty cool. So he does everything on the single 24 inch MSI monitor that's mounted against the wall and below that he's got a few peripherals. This is actually pretty clever. So Deepak uses a one handed keyboard to give his mouse a lot of freedom during gaming, which is very important in FPS titles or just competitive gaming in general. But when he's working and needs access to all the keys, he brings in the full size keyboard. I do love the clean cable routing you did for all the peripherals and even the holes you drilled into the desk, but they stick out quite a bit. You know, I would cover them with some grommets. Here's a useful tip I can share with anyone wanting to drill holes. You want to match the size of your grommet with the size of your hole saw. But I would first find the grommet size you want to use and match that size perfectly with the hole saw so you can get a perfect snug fit. It's much harder to find the perfect size grommet if the hole is already made. For gaming, he uses a headset that he keeps underneath the desk, but for music and productivity, he sticks to his speakers that he mounted against the wall. I love that Deepak didn't let the small space stop him from personalizing it. He found a way to add some collectibles on tiny wall shelves and a few more in front of his PC. Everything is nicely organized underneath the desk with clean cable work and a dedicated shelf for his sub. The custom PC up top is more on the mid-tier side, but he was able to get a good deal on it, keeping the total cost of this entire setup just under 2,000 US dollars. Deepak started on this setup about a year ago with just the bare minimum, and slowly started to upgrade here and there over the past year until he got it to a point where he was happy to submit. A very impressive setup journey, no doubt. Thank you, Deepak, for sharing this with us. Wrapping up the episode is a very clean and minimalistic ultra-wide setup by Paul. Now wait a minute, what's an ultra wide doing in the budget edition of Setup Wars? This can't be under $2,000, right? Well, unfortunately it is because the PC is missing a graphics card and that is a pretty big chunk of the budget already. Paul is a painter from Massachusetts who likes to game and trade stocks on his spare time. So he built a space where he can do that all. The centerpiece is a 34 inch ultra wide that he hooked up to the Carl B countertop. And for peripherals, he's rocking a slightly modded RK87 keyboard with a Vixing mouse. Moving on to audio, we do have a set of Logitech Z623 speakers up top for listening to music and watching content, but for gaming he puts on the Arctis 3s that he keeps underneath the desk. That's pretty much it for the setup really, very straightforward and minimal. There is very little effort in personalizing the setup, so it stands out a lot more compared to the other setups on the internet. But all in all, it's still a very clean setup. Thank you for sharing this with us. As always, let me know which of these setups was your favorite from today's episode. If you guys are enjoying the new season of Setup Wars, do let me know by tossing a like, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one.